Hey guys, I am so bad at making videos. I have been trying to record this like 10 times and I cannot do it. I'm just gonna have a conversation with you now because I feel like that's the only way I get anything done. <laughs> uh, forget the script, just candid. Um, I wanna talk to you a little bit about sales and regions and then go back into demographics. I think that these are things that are super critical to revolutionizing any business, but things that are really, really easily overlooked. And, um, you know, you can, you can sell to everybody, but chances are you won't because of the connections that are there. So let me start off with sales. I am a full-time sales associate with a furniture dealer here in Tampa. We do commercial healthcare, higher education mostly. And there are about three to four million people in the city, I believe. And eight or nine of us are out there looking for jobs in the area. So you're probably thinking, oh yeah, that's a lot of people to that ratio. Not really. We all kind of know the same people and we got, we all kind of see the same people around at events and we uh, do compete to a certain extent, but we're not competitive with each other. And let me kind of explain that a little bit. It's all about connection. If we go to an event and I'm standing directly next to one of my coworkers and we're talking to somebody about their office job, um, chances are the person that's making the connection with the customer is going to be the one who works with them on their office space. And no harm at all because chances are the next person that we talk to, I'll make a connection with. So it's it's completely different. That's kind of how I see any sales business. I see people making connections with certain demographics and even though you're sharing the region, you might be making connection with different people. So let me kind of um, describe a little bit more about Beachbody in Tampa. So Tampa, again, is about three to four million people. And oh my gosh, if I was to guess, there's thousands of coaches here in the Tampa area. Between We have some of the top 10 coaches in this area as well. I mean, that's kind of intimidating to a certain extent, but you have to think there's so many opportunities out there. There are, there's somebody for somebody, honestly. And although they're in the same area, they might even live next door to me. We're going to be making connections with different people. And it goes all down to connections and demographics. So let me explain a little bit further. My demographic is, uh, I'm still trying to mold my demographic. I'll start out with that. But I am a young professional. I am um, not looking to grow a family yet. I have a dog. I don't own a house yet. I rent. I like to have fun. I like going out on the weekends. I, um, I work really hard at my day job. And Outside of work, I don't want to feel like I'm working. I'm doing things because I want to do them and because they're fun and I find enjoyment in them. So my demographic would be someone like me. Someone that is working hard, that likes to play hard, that likes to have fun outside of work, that doesn't really want to grow a family quite yet. You know, that we can grab a glass of wine with after work and talk a little bit more about stuff. That's my demographic right now. And demographics change over time, of course, but that's mine right now. Um, I want to find people that are ambitious, that have big goals, that, you know, don't take no for an answer, that are diligent and work hard and they're loyal and they say what they're going to. That's a big one. And, you know, it, it's different for someone else. Let's say um, the next person that... Let's say someone is, you know, in their 30s, they're married, they're happy, they just bought a house, they have um, a family, they are, might be pregnant with another daughter, son. Their demographic is going to be very different than mine. And let's say we, that person and me, we go to Starbucks to have a coffee together and there is a woman in line that we just started talking to. 
chances are one of us is going to make a stronger connection than the other one. It's, I would say it's rare that we both make a connection with the same person at the same time because we're so different. That's kind of where I want to get at because once you know who you're going after, it's going to be a lot easier to grow your business. It's going to be a lot easier to understand who you're going for and how to mold it. So that's why demographic is so important to me is that you really need to know who you are and who you're going after to be successful with any sale. You know, you can mold yourself to be appealing to other demographics, but I wouldn't say that's like doing business with that much integrity. You're not being very honest. And if I go and I'm someone else, I just, I just don't like the idea of that personally. That's just my opinion. So regions, demographics, you can be in the same region, next door neighbors, best friends, but you're going to make connections with other people. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're both on the same team. And all you hardcore salespeople are going to be like, that's not right. You're competing with everybody. Everybody's an enemy. That's not, that's not how I work. And that's not how I want to do my job. And I don't want to have my beach body team like that. And we're all in it to help each other succeed. And you know what? I'm just going to say it. Karma's a bitch. So if you're a bitch, it's going to come back and bite you. So just letting you know. This is kind of my opinion on sales, how sales work, how demographics work. But it's important to know who you are and where you're going. And I haven't figured out everything, but I know where I am now. So it kind of helps a little bit. I think I kind of touched on all the points that I wanted to. But if you have any questions at all, post below. I'd love to have an ongoing conversation about this because that's just my personal opinion. And this is what my experience has taught me. And it has gotten me this far already. So I would love to hear what you have to say. And if you have any questions, I will talk to you soon.